Our grade. All right, the distance and midpoint formulas and other applications for the square root garbage. Um, distance formula, there's one way to look at it, and that's the formula way, which is the way they want you to look at it. But if we look at it in terms of slope, it may be easier. It all depends on how you consider or what. Well, it's just a matter of preference. So a long time ago, a long, long time ago, there were these, uh, there were these groupies that followed this guy named Pythagoras, and they would get, they would go out and they would post on billboards and on street posts, right? You guys have seen those signs where people put up flyers, and they would say, "Come to our party where we're going to do math." And uh, since it was a, an extremely nerdy society, uh, well, you went to those kind of things, right? So instead of playing Call of Duty at home on a Friday night, you'd be like, I'm going to go with the Pythagoreans and we're going to do some math tonight, baby. Uh, now, what's interesting about this is that it didn't come from Pythagoras originally. It came from, well, we know the Egyptians had it. We don't really know how far back specifically it goes. But uh, the Pythagorean theorem is specifically for right triangles, okay? So, of course, when they got together, someone would make sandwiches in the form of right triangles, and then they would eat them, and they were pretty, they partied pretty hard back in those days. Um, in this equation right here that we see, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, C is what we call the hypotenuse. Why is it called the hypotenuse? I don't know. I suppose it means uh, it's probably a Greek word, because those are that, that the Pythagoreans were Greek. And it probably means longest side of a right triangle. Maybe. I don't know. Does anyone else here speak Greek? Maybe. I just, some people speak languages, and that's good, okay? Uh, I don't, so I don't know what the heck it means. But the two sides that make up the right angle, this that usually sh show kind of a square right there, um, the two sides that make the right angle up are called legs. Again, why do they call them legs? Because. Is everyone okay with this Pythagorean theorem stuff? Oh, yeah, so on this one, Right, the hypotenuse is the longest side. That's the side that's opposite of the right angle. It's kind of like the right angle there is pointing at it, right? Like an, like an arrow right there. It's pointing at the hypotenuse. Well, um, see on this equation now we've got these two, these two sides of the equal side. Well, I've got a c squared. So if I just square rooted both sides, then I could find the hypotenuse pretty easy with this formula right here. But they're not always going to ask you to find the hypotenuse. So we may have to refer back to the original equation, which is right here. All right, find the, the length of the missing leg. So we have a hypotenuse of 15 meters and a leg of 9 meters. So looking at the Pythagorean theorem, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Where C is the hypotenuse, which right here tells us that it's 15 meters, so we got a 15 squared. This should equal, the leg is 9 meters. Now, it doesn't matter which leg you want to be, A or B. Maybe you hate the letter B, so you replace it there all the time, so you don't have to look at it, right? Uh, it doesn't matter, though, if you replaced it with the A. I'm going to replace the B because, just because. So I've got 9 squared. And I've got a squared plus the 9 squared. Don't be confused. It's just my handwriting. The lowercase a is not a 9. If I were to solve this, I got 15 squared. So I just evaluated those squares. Right? 15 squared is 225. 9 squared is 81. And here I, wanted, I would want that a squared on its own side of the equal sign. So I would subtract 81 from both sides. And that would give me a squared equals uh, 4, 4, 144. Thank you. 
and of course that's equal to a squared. Now if I wanted uh, just a by itself, it's squared, so the inverse operation of a square is to square root that. So I will square root both sides. The square root of a squared is just a, and the square root of 144 is 12. So the other leg on this triangle is 12. Of course, you could go back and check, which you should do. Uh, 12 squared is 144 plus the 81. Bam, that gives us 15 squared, which is 225. And we're good.